the judgment there for you. All right, and that's really a hell cut because those uh, those who were uh, 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 who were in uh, uh, what is it uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, man, they they long they they died a long time ago. All right, but that shows that the Lord's you know He deals with reincarnation, man. All right, because those souls they like I said they're thousands of years old. All right. Most of them sodomites are over here. Now. Yeah, God. God. Uh, verse 15. And thou, Capernaum, which art exalted to heaven, shalt be thrust down to hell. Hey, what, is, what does that sound like? What does that remind you of? Uh, Capernaum, which are exalted to heaven, shall be thrust down to hell. get uh, sunk in and, 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 and into a pit of fire? No, man. It's talking about destruction. Grave. You're going to be cast down like in the fulfillment of that was in 70 AD, man. Alright? Now you got spiritual uh, 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 well, all the people that were there back then are here now. Right? So you have the reincarnation, the same thing going to happen over again. Because we're preaching the word to these people, to these Israelites. Alright? These Israelite foreigners and they're not accepting the, uh, uh, the truth. That's why it says, that's why it says, uh, just, it'll be more tolerable for Sodom in that day than for you, okay? Because, like I said, what, I mean, Most High leveled Sodom, yeah. Sodom with, with uh, fire. Well, it says Sidon, T Tyre is Tyre and Sidon. Right, S Sidon and Sodom, Capernaum and all, and all those cities. Yeah, God. But, you know, and there, were, there were nothing, like you said, other than, other than that's it in his household uh, there was and nothing, his wife there was, was killed nothing but all kinds of all kinds of disgustingness going on in Sodom we won't yeah. get into it hey right it's now. the same thing that's going on here it's spiritually Sodom and Egypt that's right Sodom 5.0 yeah or whatever they Sodom 66.6 .6, you know because all these people all they do man is, is, is worship the uh, the devil man that's right they call us devil worshipers hey if you cut your beard off if you if you uh uh if you don't think there's anything wrong with, with eating pork, if you don't think there's anything wrong with uh, 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 homosexuality, transgenderism, man, then you you are your father the devil, man. <laughs> that's right. That's why. That's why. Again, it's going to be more tolerable tolerable for Sodom for Sodom that day because you, that that was compared to what was going to happen over here. Yeah, man. God. And it, and you can not to get off topic, but you can go over there. Middle East, where Sodom was, and you can you can actually see where it was. It's it's a it's a nothing. It's a waste right over there by the by the Dead Sea, if I'm not mistaken. Salt pits, right? Right. Big big, big old stol uh, sulfur stench of you know you know they they know where it was. Yep. God. Uh, verse sixteen. <coughs> He that heareth you, heareth me. And he that despiseth you, despiseth me. You see, it's as simple as that. That's, that's the condemnation. Look, I'm sending you out. If he don't hear you, then ain't no point in me trying to come to him because you're saying the same thing to them that I would say to them. A good precept to that is there's no private interpretation of the, of the scriptures. My sheep hear my voice, man. I think that's in John the 10th chapter. You know, uh, uh, this is a uh, Luke chapter 10, uh, continuing in verse 16. And he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me. So when you come up against the prophets that speak in the name of Yahweh Hashem you're coming up against Yahweh Hashem Yoshai. Right. But it's plain and simple. God, it's, yeah, that's, that's plain and simple right there. He that despiseth. He that uh, despises you despises me, man. We don't, we don't, we're not taking offense to, to, you know, that what you say to us. We don't care. That hey, Most High, or Havashai told us that was going to happen. God. And, you know, so, whatever. Uh, continuing on, in verse 17, and the 70, and the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, 
Even the devil is our subject unto us. Thy name. Okay, the 70 came back, you know, astonished, you know, like, hey, yeah. hey, 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 hey. You got power in Man, your that, name. That was, that was some, some power in the Yeah, yeah, yeah God. unto me for all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted all right the nation of Israel man they hard-headed they're stiff they're stiff neck man you tell them you tell them how to get out of the uh, out of the current situation that they're in man and they're so comfortable with being enslaved that they don't even want to lift up a finger or even to consider you know what there could be something better because they're faithless, man. They're hard hearted, man. And, and, uh, it's like every time I hear that word stiff necked, I always get that image. That yeah, Jake. Proud what is Jake? Jake? Yeah, that proud look Jake does. You know what I'm saying? Jake was doing that back then, too. Just stiff necked. Yeah, man. They're haughty, man. Not, you know, they want to humble down and yeah. do what's right. Yeah, man. They're proud. It goes back to being pride. You know? Pride goes before destruction, man. Uh, Back in Luke uh, 10 and uh, 18, and he said, uh, and he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning falling from heaven. Okay, and that, that's a that's a future prophecy, by the way. Right. Uh, that's not talking about uh, Satan getting kicked that's out of heaven. That's not talking about uh, Satan uh, yeah. the fallen angel. <laughs> That's not really how we hurt because guess what? That's it. When we die in Yahweh Shai, man, it's game over, bro. That's right. Mission accomplished, man. That's why we, that's what our, it's not really why we're here. That's, that's, the end, that's the end game. That's the end game, man. That's, that's the, the it's goal. Game. That's the ultimate ultimatum. That's game over, man. And this word gives us the power to tread on you serpents and scorpions. God. Hey, and we're, we're doing it spiritually now. But we're gonna be doing it in perfection and in righteousness and in glory right. when that day comes, man. Uh, scripture is a two-edged sword, man. Cuts you asunder. God. Uh, continuing in uh, Luke chapter 10, all right, verse 20. Notwithstanding, in this rejoice not <clears throat> that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names <clears throat> are written in heaven. Yeah, don't, don't, see, even though you have the power to tread on serpents and scorpions, don't let that be your main focus. Right. Focus, have your eyes on the prize. God. On the kingdom. God. Focus, you know, you know, check yourself once in a while, too. Yep. Like, you know what I said, man, hey, before you pull that twig out of your brother's eye, pull that moat out of yours. Yep. Yep. Yeah, because if the, the demon can turn, can turn on you, the Lord can take the spirit on you, man. And put the, and, and put and put and, and put demons, send de sick demons on you if you're not if you're not careful, man. Hey, the Lord could have just used you to wake up another brother. God. Hey, you did your build build, build your life now. Hey, you gotta pray that that ain't the case, you know. God. But hey, at the end of the day, it's up to you how my shine. Hey, it was written there's gonna be men that cast out demons in the name of you how my shine, whose names aren't written, you know. And that's why I said, that's why I was trying to say, look, man, because we don't know if uh, uh, certain of those men, aside from the 12 disciples, you know,
know were of the elect, right? But we do know that certain of them weren't, all right? Certain of them weren't. And so since they were casting out demons in the name of Yahweh Shai and, and they saw the power and the might of the Lord, guess what? If you're not being saved, man, all the, if you're not, if, if the Lord is not coming back to save you, man, all of that is really for, you know. Hey, hey, look at, look at uh, Judas. Hey, before Judas got that demon on him, I mean, he yeah. was probably doing the work. Yeah, God. He was probably, hey, he was probably, uh, you know, he was yeah. probably pushing. God, yeah, he definitely was. But, hey, but he fulfilled his life. Yeah. And, hey, hey, the Lord plugged him out, man. He turned out to be a grimy nigga, man. That's, right. That's the last thing you want to be is a grimy nigga. You want to keep your integrity. That's why charity, charity is number one. <laughs> you can have all faith, all understanding. You know, if you don't have that brotherly love, man, I don't know. Uh, all right, verse 21. And uh, in that hour, Yahweh Shai rejoiced in spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and, uh, and prudent and hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, even so, Father, for it seemed good in thy sight. They're in the scriptures, but they believe in the Lord. That's the point. That's why Yahweh was rejoicing, man. Because these these niggas, everybody else looked up to, man. They really, you know, most of them, man. They, they don't really have any. They don't really have any uh, uh, spiritual value, man. All right. Uh, let's finish this. Uh, Luke chapter ten <clears throat> and uh, twenty-two. All things are delivered to me of my Father, and no man knoweth who the Son is but the Father, and who the Father is, but the Son, and he to whom the Son will reveal him. All right, so the only way you can really know the Lord, man, is if you know Yahweh Shai. You don't know the Lord unless you know Yahweh Shai, man. If you're not, if you're not, if you're not praying to Yahweh Shai, bro, you don't, you, you don't know who you worship. You could be praying to any, any of these demons, man. 